to your eyes I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame Nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see Somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose so fast Maybe we got too high But I ready for the day I just kept it really simple because today is kind of honestly just like an errand day um, I guess I will set you guys down okay so plan for today I need to go grocery shopping because I haven't been grocery shopping in I don't even know how long I have no food in I've been door dashing every single day and it's like it has to stop because it's ridiculously expensive and just lazy and it's not good to eat out like every single day so I need to do that I need to go grocery shopping um, Harper has her first vet appointment here in a little bit um, so I'm probably gonna need to leave in about an hour for that. So yeah, there's just like a lot of little things I need to get done. But I actually just got a package in from Brooklinen. I've been needing some new bedding. So I need to put those on my bed and I'll show you guys everything that I've got. I haven't made my bed yet. It's like so late in the day. So I guess that works out. So this isn't sponsored, but it is gifted. They sent over their Lux bundle, which comes with a duvet cover. It comes with pillowcases and then a sheet set, which is really nice. They're amazing quality. I actually know a few people who have their products. So I cannot wait to put these on my bed. Um, I obviously just got all of mine in white. And I also picked up one of their towel bundles. So it comes with two bath towels. It comes with four hand towels and then just like a white bath mat. And then they also sent over some laundry care items. And I've actually been wanting to try this brand for the longest time. So it's by the brand Laundress. And I got their detergent, um, bleach alternative, fabric conditioner, and then a fabric fresh spray, which I'm really excited to try that too. So the bedding that I have now, I've had it not even getting for so many years. And you guys know I let my dogs on the bed. So it's like in shambles. It's like ripping at the seams. It's seriously in such bad shape, so I'm so excited to have new sheets. Brooklinen is actually having their biggest sale of the year for Black Friday this year, so you guys can click the link down below for 20% off any products. So just wanted to mention that really quickly. They would also make like great gifts for the holiday seasons, but let's go ahead and go make my bed. I am so excited for these sheets. <laughs> just finished making the bed I wish that you guys could feel these sheets they feel exactly like hotel sheets like luxury hotel sheets I love finding more affordable options for like luxury sheets because luxury sheets can typically go like from like 500 to like upwards of a thousand and the Brooklyn and Lux bundles are around 250 so so definitely such a steal for like a whole new bedding set so yeah definitely go check them out I'll have them all linked down below okay let's try this could you just steal too small oh my goodness you are getting chunky. You're getting to be a chunky monkey. You're never getting so fat. Okay. So I think that fits. Is that too tight? No, I think it's okay. Okay, good girl. Are you ready to go? Okay. 
Okay, me and Harper back here are on our way to the vet. I also just remembered that I actually have an appointment right after her vet to tour the daycare place I'm going to be taking her to. It's really cute. They have like a little like doggy daycare bus that comes and like picks them up. And it's all the way out in this little like country ranch area. So it's like really pretty. But yeah, you guys know I love Harper. But oh my gosh, whenever I'm trying to like film or something like something that takes like several hours to do it is so hard to watch a puppy that like goes to the bathroom every five seconds or she's trying to like eat my christmas tree lights or if i put her outside she loves to dig and i'm renting my house so i really don't want her like digging and destroying the yard because i'm gonna have to pay to repair all of that before i move out so it's been really challenging to try to like film especially with like the holiday season coming up and vlogmas i can't be supervising her 24 7 so that's why i'm looking for a good doggy daycare to go to um the one that i'm looking at they don't use like kennels or anything like that which i love the dog's gonna play all day long they have like a pool for the dogs um they have like a little playground and like huge acres and acres of open field that they can go run around in so it's really great so i'm really excited to tour that later um we need to go ahead and get going i'm also really hungry so i feel like i want to stop for lunch somewhere i don't know we'll see <gasps> All right, you guys, just finished with Harper's appointment. I was putting my cart up and I put it like all the way into the little like cart corral and it went over those little like metal like bumpers or whatever that's supposed to keep the cart in there. And I was walking away and I was like all the way to my car, I'm, like out of breath from running, but I was all the way to my car and then I hear like a cart rolling. And so I look around cause I'm like, okay, I didn't see anyone else around me like pushing their cart. And I turn around and look and I see the cart that I literally just put up like flying at this other car. And it was like a really nice cart too. The Wind is so bad right now and so I straight up jumped out of my car started sprinting and I full-on like dove to grab the cart and it ended up being like half an inch away from smashing this person's car oh my gosh I completely ripped a hole in my brand new Fabletics leggings and my knee is skinned and I had like a bunch of people like stop and drive by and they're like great save great save anyways I'm like cracking up that had to be so funny to see like someone like sprinting after a cart and full on like diving in the air for it anyways now I'm like out of breath from sprinting after a freaking cart Put some hand sanitizer on. Um, right now, I am going to, I think, go to a tropical smoothie because I'm really hungry and I have to get home really quick and then I have to leave again um, to go tour her doggy daycare place. So I don't really have time to like make anything. So I think we're gonna stop by there. Okay, got the smoothie. I got a island green. So good. Okay, I need to head home, drop baby girl off, and then get to my appointment. Okay, guys, just got back from touring Harper's new doggy daycare and grocery shopping. So she's gonna have her first day tomorrow and see how it goes. I'm so excited. I really hope that she loves it because that would just be, like I said earlier, just so helpful if I could like <laughs> have her in doggy daycare. Puppies are so much work and I love her and I'm so glad that I got her, but it's really, really hard to film and like get anything done without her like knocking over my filming lights or like I said earlier, it's like a bunch of stuff that just makes it really stressful and really hard to like actually accomplish anything. So I am really excited to be able to put her in doggy daycare and I know that she's having a good time playing with other dogs. Um, getting socialized and everything like that. So really excited for that But I'll flip you guys around really quickly to show you guys everything that I got from the store So over here, I got this huge thing of boom chicka pop sweet and salty this stuff is amazing Like my absolute favorite popcorn so great for snacking and they had this like ginormous bag um, I got some baby carrots. I got some green and red bell pepper, which isn't this like the weirdest looking red bell pepper you guys have ever seen. I don't know why they all looked like that. And I got an onion, acorn squash, avocados, bread. I love this stuff for whenever I make my veggie enchiladas. Having this on the side is amazing. It has quinoa, peppers, and corn. Then I got a big tub of spinach for my smoothie, some almond milk. I am trying this ice cream for the first time. I've actually never had this. I typically get the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy one, but they didn't have that. So got this one, really excited to try. I'll let you guys know what I think. I got some vegan feta, some hummus. This stuff is the best. If you guys have a Sprouts by you, go find this. It's amazing. Got a bunch of broccoli. I got some 
chickpeas. I got some pesto, because I think I'm gonna make like a broccoli veggie pesto pasta. Harper also tore up like an entire package right there, so I haven't cleaned that up yet, so that's what that is. Um, and then also, you guys, this is probably the one that I'm most excited about, but I found this at Sprouts, and it is dark chocolate peppermint dairy-free almond milk creamer, and oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use this. Um, and then I also got a huge pack of emergency because ain't nobody got time to get sick this holiday season. So that is everything that I got. All right, you guys, so for dinner, I'm actually gonna be making a broccoli pesto pasta. So I have my protein pasta cooking over here. This is just the kind that I like to use. Um, it's vegan and has, what, 10 grams of protein per every two ounce serving. So this is my favorite, I just get it at Target. So I have my noodles cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking my broccoli. Um, I'm just gonna drizzle it with some of this Tuscan herb olive oil. I actually got this while I was in Colorado and it's like the best purchase ever. Wow, that was a lot. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put this on like medium high heat. And then I'm just gonna let these cook for a little bit and then I will add in some red bell pepper. The recipe that I got the inspo for this off of actually used sun-dried tomatoes, but I personally hate tomatoes in my stuff, so I'm just gonna throw in some red bell pepper instead. Just dump the pasta in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my pesto and this is the pesto that I'm gonna be using. A lot of pestos aren't vegan actually, so definitely make sure that you check and get one that is vegan. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be so good. I cannot wait for this. Okay guys, this is how it turned out. I'm so excited to try this. I've actually never made this dish before, so I'll let you guys know what I think of it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, do a little bit of work while I finish up dinner, and then I will check in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> 